Hey guys, Corey here, Mad Rat Garage. Thanks for stopping back this week. Something a little more relaxed. Um, working on my 1964 Grumman Olsenet step van. I might have seen it in the previous video. Doing a little power washing and uh, paint started to come off. This wonderful Florida heat and sun. In the last few years it's been down here has really made that paint uh, dried out. And I uh, started doing some power washing to get some mold off of it. And lo and behold, the white paint started to come with it. So, um, so I don't know if you're into that kind of thing. Um, check it out. It changed colors on me. And I uh, kind of like it. Why don't you see what you watch the video? Tell me in the end. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of uh, the color change. I'm kind of digging it. Um, I kind of wish the whole truck looked like that, but uh, it doesn't. So a little change of pace. I added some mellow acoustic music. If you're anything like me, some of you are. I'm sure some of you aren't. Um, I kind of just drift off while I'm doing this power washing stuff. It's a way for your mind just to kind of shut off and just relax while you're doing it. And uh, I even catch myself going back and watching the video of doing it and... Uh, it's just relaxing for me. <laughs> so I thought, what the hell, I'll videotape it and uh, we'll do it in a uh, time lapse and um, just a little quick video of power washing the old step van, the old flower truck, and it changed in color. And you guys that are into the step vans, the old, uh, the neat old ones, and you know, this is an aluminum one, um, might get a kick out of the before and after. So comment down below. Let me know. Did you like it? Before we started, should have left it. Uh, do you like the new color? That's what's going on this week. So sit back, get yourself a nice little beverage, kick your feet up. If you're on your laptop, put it in your lap, kind of kick your, kick back, and just watch the transformation of the old paint getting erased and the, the older, even older paint underneath it showing up and then changing the whole look of this truck. So that's what we're doing. Enjoy it. And if it's your first time here, do me a favor. It doesn't cost you anything. Go ahead and hit that like button down there. Hit that subscribe button. And please, comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see. Um, check out some of the old content that I have listed on this here channel, and uh, you'll get an idea of what I like to tinker with and play with. I'm growing. Grow with me. All right. Let's get after this, guys. Welcome back to some more boring crap that I find interesting. Upcoming, small project, maybe, maybe not, but drive it once a month, take it to swap meet. Saw that in a previous video. It's getting moldy. I don't like mold. And I do want it down to bare metal someday eventually. I'm power washing it today. I already started the other side and I uh, didn't know what was going to happen. Florida sun is my friend because it baked all this old house paint to a point where the white is coming off and some of the green that's under. So I gotta do this side. Figured I'd bring you along for the ride. So this ain't no sexy car wash scene from like some of the other guys, which is funny. Not my style. Yeah, just doing a little cleaning up on the old flower truck. I just love this thing. We got a little fine little things to do to it. As money prevails, as money comes along, so we'll do it in the time lapse. Oh, and I'm using my power washer I bought for $2.50 at, at an auction. Rebuilt the carb one pull, she started right up, works perfect. <laughs> you gotta love good deals.
five minutes. Pretty much out of gas. About 45 minutes, I guess, run time since I watched a couple other vehicles before this. And away we go! Can't see what that says. Decorating service starting to show up. Big name underneath here in yellow. Huh. And you can see it. Hopefully, I can see it. Doesn't wash off completely. For those of you who don't know the history behind this, I've talked about it once or twice, but I traded a 2004 RAV, Toyota RAV4 for this that I got real cheap. I always wanted one, came up on Marketplace, and uh, the guy was needing to trade for a daily driver, and I picked up this RAV4 for a, a song and uh, it needed O2 sensors and a wheel bearing. So I put four O2 sensors in it and a wheel bearing and she ran like brand new. I had to have, I mean, it barely ran when I got it. Detailed it, showed it to this guy and the guy was like, you wanna trade me that for this? He was asking 3,500 for this. That RAV4 is probably worth 4,500. I didn't even have that in it. I didn't even have 1,200 bucks in that car. So he was supposed to meet me halfway and uh, calls me and says, I can't get any heater defrost working in the windows. They're all fogged up and I can't drive it because it was the middle of winter. And a blizzard was coming. So I drove the rest of the distance, met him at a gas station. He made it five miles. I got in, figured out how the defrost worked and everything, and then kind of got everything working. And I drove it home 60 miles on back roads in a freaking blizzard. And uh, just thought it was cool. It's a 64 Grumman Olsenet. They made them for four years, this body style, with that weird window in the pillar here. With this window in the pillar here, and this bump out here. Uh, just thought it was neat. And uh, I got it to the back of my shop in Indiana, and I pulled into the parking lot. And the brakes went straight to the floor and the master cylinder puked all its guts out and the brakes were gone. I made it 60 miles in a blizzard and then it died when it hit the parking lot. And for four years I could not find a master cylinder that worked for it. And then finally, out of the blue, um, I decided to move down here and this was 2020. And uh, I was going to come down here in 21. During the pandemic, I'm like, I need to get this thing ready to go if I do move it's ready to go so I found miraculously found a master cylinder that worked and it was actually out of a 50 a 54 pickup truck it's a 64 no matter where I looked at it nothing was ever right I started looking back further and further because I started finding other stuff that was from a 50 Chevy lo and behold found one changed it replaced the hoses and brake lines ran new fuel line I put a new distributor new carburetor all new wires and I rewired the whole truck and put modern LEDs in it because I was gonna be driving and couldn't see the other ones and uh, 
repacked all the wheel bearings. Brakes were good, just old, but in really good shape. Repacked all the wheel bearings, changed all the fluids. She runs like a charm. You can see certain areas where I started scraping it with a razor trying to get it down to bare metal. It's an all aluminum body. It was in service until 04. Registration stickers in the window for where it was at, uh, needed to have that sticker to get in to deliver flowers. It was in service until 04. And I bought it in 15, 16, 2016. It's got 513 gears and a four speed in it, straight six with a 230 straight six. I drove it 1300 miles on the interstate at 50 miles an hour, 3000 RPMs, 50 miles an hour, 55 sometimes. It took me two and a half days to get here. <laughs> it was a roadkill adventure, that's for sure. Never missed a beat though. I think it'd be really neat all bare aluminum and then, you know, that gets hot down here in Florida, but get it down to the bare aluminum and then maybe I'll um, do a cheap paint job on it and make it nicer. I'd like to airbag it and put an LS in it sometime. It's down the road. I have a 4.8 LS and tranny and everything full pullout I did. I have to look into what it takes to drop them in here, but it's got a straight axle. I'd rather do a body swap onto like a, a newer express van chassis, something with a similar wheelbase. That way you'd have uh, disc brakes, independent front steering, suspension, power steering. A lot of the modern stuff with the old body on it would be way cool. But it runs so stinking good, I'm not willing to do it just yet. So right now, it's just my little run around, bebop around. I store stuff in it. I got my swap meet stuff in it. It's all good. All right, shoulders feeling better, less burn. Holding that thing above my head. Those guys that have been here before, you know, I've had blown rotator cuffs, both shoulders. Still healing, holding them above my head, really. It's a good workout, though. This is good for me. Just have to do it slow. All right, let's get back to it. Kind of looking cool in the original green. I wonder if that's the original color, but it's a lot harder on there. I don't know if it's because it's under the white. Now that it'll be exposed, but that'll come off easy next time. But the old green's kind of cool.
funny this stuff wasn't coming off before, but now that it's been wet and sitting, it's just water. It's starting to come off now. Painting and decorating, so that's what it says. We got an in and an ampersand, water for the peak. Called the old blue.
Now we're getting done for today guys it looks like a completely different truck on this side it's green it ain't white no more <laughs> oh. all right yeah it's pretty cool now we're gonna park back in our hole here and she's all mold free and so is my trailer Well, guys, that will do it for the, for this week. Um, just a relaxing video. What do you think? The before and after. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I think it looks better with the green. I really do. I think it, it looks less wore out and more old school patina. Um, we'll leave it that way for a while. Maybe I'll get around uh, by the end of the summer, let that new paint bake on there and... Uh, get more sun now that the top coats off and see if the green comes off a little easier i've got a little cheap 30 dollar sandblaster you hook up to your power washer that does the um dustless blasting type thing i have no idea if it works but maybe we'll try that to get it down to bare metal eventually and if you guys are interested let me know if you want more information about the 64. um before i was doing a youtube channel I took a lot of pictures and um, some video of all the work that I put into that to get it down here. As you saw earlier in the video here, you know, I, I, I told you the, the work I put into it. Um, but I've got some before pictures of when I bought it and the amount of work that went into making it drivable and safe for that long 1300 mile trip down here. Um, I think it turned out good and like I said, this thing was a mess when I got it. I, I barely made it home, um, ran like crap, and uh, but it ran. And with all the work we did, I mean, she runs like a sewing machine now. So if you're interested in that video, I can put together like a, a slideshow collage with some video and some slideshow pictures of the, the work that had been done. So let me know in the comments. Do you like the before with the green? Do you like with the white? Do you like the after with the green? Um, if you think I should strip it to bare metal, I can't keep it bare metal in Florida. Um, I don't know, bare aluminum, I don't know if any of you have ever been around a vehicle like that, like an Airstream, in this intense heat, you will get third degree burns if you bump up against that. It will fry you. You have to put paint on. That's all there is to it. I like the bare metal look, the bare aluminum look. I really, really wanted it that way. But um, one too many times with my semi, I bumped into the you know, the stainless, oh my God, on the really hot days, the, the bare stainless will burn you. So I'm painting it um, eventually. There's no hurry on any of this. But comment down below. Let me know what you think. When, if and when I paint it, what colors do you think I should do? I Personally, so far right now, I'm leaning towards repainting the top white to keep the heat off. Keep that white just that above that drain uh, rain rail. And then from there down, I'm thinking like a matte finish charcoal gray. And then the stripe in the middle, do like a gloss black with some gloss black accents. I thought about buying all new door handles and uh, all the accent stuff. Gloss black. Thought that'd be kind of neat. Let me know. We'll see what we can do. All right, guys. Thanks for stopping by. And just remember, don't wait for your projects to be perfect. Do enjoy them. Do a little bit of something. Get them out. Take them to a car show, drive them around, remind yourself why you like the car, and then put it back in the shop to do the next project. Just don't tear it all the way down to every nut and bolt and wait 10 years until it's perfect. That's no fun. You lose motivation, and you wonder why you spent all the money. All right, guys. Till next time. Keep wrenching. <laughs>